people from YouTube um, today we're working on a 2000 Volkswagen uh, Beetle 2.0 okay today I decided to make this video because we don't have like a lot of sources about this issue which is the side mirror which is a common failure or you know problem as you guys can see here there is this broken one which was attempt to be fixed but the problem is that this part divides into two separate pieces one that covers up here and the other one that covers up here on the door so as you can see the actual mirror it's mounted on this piece right here okay i have the new unit well a good use one that i found from a salvage yard a little bit beat up but it's still functional there's a big old wire you know for electric motor Okay, this is something important that I want to mention. This is a 2001, which is a different design than the 2000. This is a 2000, as you guys can see, it's a little bit different, but it will be the same, the same thing. You see, this one is quite different than that one. Okay, to start, I want to mention that the first thing you guys have to do is removing the door panel, like I did, sitting right there, and after that, you guys want to go ahead and disconnect the wiring harness, which is this one right here. In this case, is a green connector, as you guys can see over there. That one. Okay. And then after that, you guys have to extract this piece right here. And the wire will go around here. It goes up into this hole. And then you guys don't need to cut the, the harness. But on this case, to make it easier... I did it this way so the connector will actually come into this hole well through this hole and then there is three screws holding the, the mirror from the bottom and it uses a five millimeters allen wrench then to remove the covers see here's the tricky part this is one of the parts that covers up the mirror like so so you will have a torque 20 I believe or 2015 on this hole attached to this and so that's one of them that holds part of the cover but on the bottom of it there is another little cover and they have another another um, bolt in here from the bottom attached to this part I believe to this part and so that's the second thing you have to remove in order to get it of this cover so here is the first part and then the second part it's this one right here i'll show you in a second so we have this other piece right here this is the old one i'm gonna install new ones this part goes right here like so um to remove this one is quite complicated i would say because you have to remove the molding of the door which is this one right here well the scraper i guess and this is the actual door seal or naturally this is the yeah i would say it's a door seal but it's not the for the doors you know it's for the window and this is the rail the rail for the window the window track which is rubber anyways as you guys can see there is two little holes one right here and one more right above right there so it uses these two um philip heads screws right there and so that's pretty much it that's what you have to do in order to remove this mirror um this one these three bolts they're actually tricky to get out you might you might want to use a short wrench or in the worst scenario like i have here i have this flexible allen socket but if you're only gonna do this job once I don't think it's worth it to buy this snap-on um, socket for 50 some dollars it's quite handy though but it's not you know really worth it if you're only gonna do it once I have this extension with my ratchet to reach the last to the last bolt which is on this side if you fully open the door you will be able to see that a hole right there right there my camera doesn't reach there but it's there it's right here on this section so it goes right there and that's where it's located at as you can see from the top one two three three holes for three bolts and so 
this is what's happening okay so I'm gonna go ahead and slide this thing down 